Hi friends. I am here with October's Currently Inked. And I'm hoping that this is all my pens that are inked. I have my little cheat sheet book here. This is, I've been keeping up for a change of writing down the pens and the ink as I ink them. So I will be referencing that and thus hopefully we will not have a repeat of last time when I was like, yeah, this has ink in it, something, I don't know what. Um, I have, let's see, five, seven, oh, a lid always coming off. Nine, eleven, thirteen. Lucky thirteen pins inked. That's actually somewhat appropriate for October, right? We'll say it's thirteen for Amanda. Which means, oh goodness, they're not all going to fit here. But we'll make them fit. I still, we'll start with this one. It's probably not, like, it's it's got to be on its last legs. <laughs> it's like, it's basically not inked. but we'll call it inked because I want to. Because I said, should we zoom? Zoom. Currently inked. I don't know if you can see how thick that is. This is my Walltown Watts. I can't tell that says M or B. Let's look. Can you tell, camera? I think that's M. Medium nib. And the ink is OG Lamy Dark Lilac. It's just like, it's, it's hanging in there. It's, it's not, it doesn't have many days left of having ink in it. <laughs> I have enjoyed every moment. Um, and then, before I didn't know it was in this, I am like 98% mm, sure now. Here, this is my Bennu Talisman. Edelweiss, two S's? I don't know, why does that look weird? And this is the wet pen. I just wrote it down, Elliot Bay. Yeah, Elliot Bay. Before I wasn't sure, but now it's what I thought. And because sometimes I think of this as like a slightly green pen. Anyway, and that would make sense. This one, I looked up the model name of this and I forgot it again. <laughs> Cause it doesn't matter. It's the only one I have by this maker. This is from Mayfair Pens. This feels like a broad. What do we think, friends? Is that a B? I think so. Look at it. Does it look B? It looks like the B above it. Broad nib. And this is Colorverse San Francisco Bay. The Pen Show Ink. This one I'm also 98% positive of. It originally had something else. Did it? No. Yes? Maybe. <laughs> something has happened. Here we have, this has been inked for approximately forever and it still has like a fair amount of ink in it. But slowly, ah, ah. Slowly but surely, this, sometimes it wants to cross thread, which is frustrating. So this is, let me make sure I get the name of this right again. My 
Platinum, Placier in Black Mist. I'm just write black. And this is the 0 0.5 medium. And the ink is Kobe. Is it 31? 30. Number 30. OG Cherry. And then I love this. It's so bright. I should have saved that one and did that a little later. Here, I inked this up on my brother's birthday. Happy birthday, brother. Um, this is the Sailor Pro Gear Imperial Black Medium. This is the Wet Pen Western Trillium. Which just made me think of Trillion, the character, and then also the chat program. Let me know if you know, either or both. So that's the pins in this thing. Moving along to here. Mm -hmm. This is the perfect pairing. I'm delighted with it. So, Lamy Studio in Aquamarine, my birthstone, oops, with a medium nib, because I replaced it, and the ink is Pelican Edelstein Aquamarine, and look at that, I don't know if you can tell, but that color match is just so good. And the thing that's funny about it is this really doesn't look much like Aquamarine the Gemstone. So that they both got the color wrong, but in the same way is pretty great. I mean, you could get Aquamarines this color. They would be so much money because they tend to be much lighter. Almost, they can almost look clear. Next up, oh, hello, beautiful. Mm-hmm. We have a Lamy Studio in Piano Black with a 14 karat medium nib. And this is Tatcha Momo Pink, which is almost eye searing in a way that I love. If you look at it, it's kind of um, similar to OG Cherry, but maybe pinker and definitely more saturated. That's this friend. Then, then there's what happens when you do 30 pinks. 30 pinks, the aftermath. So, well, oh, no, I am absolutely missing a pen. Let's go find it. Okay, it was in my voter pamphlet because I was using it to take notes. So I got a new pen. It's the first Kakuno I've ever owned and I hate it. Hate's a strong word. I really dislike the nib, it's too fine. So for me, in the battle of inexpensive, pens placer wins because it's medium is like a medium and not like whatever the heck this is so shade throne it's fine y'all it's fine okay it's me so this is the pilot kakuno pink with a 
medium nib. And the ink in this is Faber Castell Electric Pink. I originally had um, Ink Studio 130 in this, but it was unreadable. So I re-inked it. I mean, look, don't get me wrong. If you like fine nibs, this pen is great. But that means it's not great for me. Then, I'll go to this friend right here. This, I picked it up and the cap was loose on it. It's my biggest complaint about these. This is a Franklin Christoph Model 45 with a broad signet. This is a, the material um, Salmon Glow. And the ink is Sailor Ink Studio 130. So much better in here, actually can read it. And here, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. beautiful. This is the Venu Euphoria in Rose Tea with a medium nib. This is so juicy, it's almost disgusting. And the ink in this one is Artisan Pastelier Rose. Grenade. It's like thick. The ink is thick on that paper. Is it, did it drip in here? Maybe not. I don't know if I've written in my journal with this one yet. How about this? This one I wrote with last night. Oh, I made it line up. That's pleasing to me. This is my Newton Pins Prospector with a medium nib and the ink is Kobe 61 Yuki Gosho Cherry Blossom. This is like, this ink is so, this pen is so juicy that like I was watching the paper almost get like wet. It's like, um, it's the, the Tomoe River is acting almost like it would if you had gotten water on it. Then, here's one I just inked up. This is my Eaton Apple Potter model. I think the color is called like Twisted Cherry Blossom. Medium nib. And this is Hiroshizuku Kosumosu. Cosmos. Look at it. That's that is juicy too. Ugh. I'll tell you what. These inks. Mm. Then, I've been loving this one. 
to the point where I was like, maybe I need to bottle this. And I looked at it and I'm like, Maria, this is an awful lot like this other one that you already have. Claret. And I said, good. I don't need it. I don't need it. But this smells like vanilla. Um, okay. So this is my Lamy All Star in Vibrant Pink. With a broad nib. And this is... KWZ Raspberry. Look at it, it's juicy. And ultimately, I go like this with this one. <laughs> <laughs> perfectly colored in so my little pen designs Burton I don't remember the model and candy nougat this looks like a medium nib so that's what I'm writing and then this is Erbon fuchsia the Magellan So, what I really appreciate about this month's ink, inkings is that it's such a diverse palette. <laughs> Zoom out a little bit. Now, let's get up close. So, here's that, look at that OG dark lilac right there. Look at that gold. Mm -hmm. Except no substitutes. Elliot Bay. San Francisco Bay. Hey, I like the two bays ended up next to each other. OG Cherry, this Western Trillium, Aquamarine, Momo Pink. It's electric Pink. Ink Studio in 30. Rose Grenade. Yuki Gosho Cherry Blossom. Kosumosu. Raspberry. Mm hmm. And ooh, you get a little bit right there. Fuchsia de Magellan. We'll zoom out. Boop. And that is my currently ink for the month. So, how many pink inks do we have? Well, these are all pink. And also I like that two of the pink inks are in definitely like very black ant pens. The Western Trillium is pink adjacent and in a black pen. And then we have the part of Maria that's her normal self with the tealy colors, blue, and then the tribute to Amanda. Oh no, it fell off. Okay, it's okay right now. It's fine, it didn't really fall. But Amanda's laughing, I hope. So, <laughs> this is this month's Currently Inked. Um, I'm really loving a lot of these, except for the aforementioned Kakuno. It's possible I will be rehoming this pen because it's just so not for me, and I can't get a, a replacement nib for it. So, sad, but that's all right. Not all pens are for all people, and it is if you need to write small, look at it. It's really good at writing small. It's just that I don't generally want to do that. Um, so early days, do I have any standouts that I love? Um, yeah. They're probably not surprising. You know? Probably not surprising, which are the ones I love. But we'll see. If I have any deep commentary about these maybe I'll come back and talk more about them like Chris Sainz does but maybe I won't because you know who knows how long these will be inked for maybe forever like this one this placer has been inked since June 16th it's the pen that never ends in the in the other one Amanda experience 
How long has that been inked? Since this has been inked? Since April 4th. I mean, to, in my defense, this one I've been savoring. You know, that sounds weird. But come on, you expected weird, right? Anyway, hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Let me know if you have a favorite among these. And also, what's your favorite of your currently inked pens? Take care of yourselves. Bye.